Hey everyone, welcome to Sonic Academy, my name is Catfire and you're watching the Studio One 6.5 Beginner Level 2 course. In the next 12 videos, we're going to be building on what we learn in Level 1 and explore some of the coolest features that Studio One has to offer that I personally use on a daily basis to improve my workflow. We'll be covering topics like recording audio, using multi-instruments, moving elements between songs, using the scratch pad, spatial audio, and much more. By the end of this course, you'll be on your way to becoming a Studio One master and that will really help elevate your music production and workflow. So with that, let's get started. Now we're going to take a look at one of the best features Studio One has to offer when it comes to mixing, the Effects Splitter. It's a super easy to use but extremely powerful tool that will definitely change the way you approach mixing and effects. We'll be using the synth pluck that we worked on in a previous video to demonstrate how to use the Effects Splitter. Let's take a listen. Let's begin by adding an instance of OpenAir 2 to our track. Now let's open the splitter by clicking on this button on the top left and dragging a splitter onto our chain. Let's click on the splitter we just added and take a look at the options on the left. Splitters can work in three ways. Normal creates a parallel chain useful for things like parallel drum compression, Channel split divides our signal into left and right chains, so we can add effects to each side independently. And frequency split divides our chain according to set frequencies. In this case we only have one split, so there's a chain for signals under 240 Hz, and another chain for signals above that frequency, but we can add multiple splits and have a true multiband chain if we need to. For now, let's pick channel split, and move open air to the left channel. Next, to give our pluck more texture and stereo separation, let's load up a chorus and place it on the right chain. This doesn't necessarily sound great, but it's a good example of what we can achieve with the effect splitter. But, we're not done yet. Let's add another splitter to the right channel, but this time we'll make it frequency split, and we'll add a groove delay to the low frequency band. That's actually a pretty interesting sound. Not only do we have reverb on the left, and a chorus on the right, now we also have a delay on the right chorus that only affects the low frequency spectrum. Let's take it even further and add another splitter this time on the left channel. We'll load up a phaser, and let's set it to frequency split as well. And that's how you use the effects splitter. With very little effort, we created a very intricate effects chain that turned our dry pluck into something definitely unique. And if you're really happy with the results, you can save your splitter chain as a preset and use it on any future sessions.